The boat's finally moving again. Brrr! Hey everybody, Pixel here. Welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we started... Well, I guess we didn't start. We finished Hotel Mario, as I like to call it, though it's technically called Serena Beach. This time, Yoshi's not involved in the episode at all. I just wanted to show off that while you're talking to people while riding Yoshi, Yoshi can spray them in the face, and that's freaking hilarious to me. This time, we're actually going to be heading in to Noki Bay. Uncork the waterfall. Oh, welcome, Master Mario, I presume. We have heard much about you. Yes, and all of it good. As for me, I am just an old man who loves nothing but fishing. But lately, I've had a terrible problem. Please look up there. I don't know who did it, but someone corked our waterfall. This, no doubt, is why our lovely bay has become polluted. And I can't even fish, so I ask for your help. Yank that cork! Please fulfill this old man's wish. <coughs> What's that? You'll do it? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I knew I could count on you. Just beware of that guy on the cork. Alright, so, Noki Bay, one of my favorite places in terms of music and visuals, as well as just... ...design. This place looks like it might be kind of annoying to navigate just because of all the holes and stuff, but jeez, this is such a cool level. Even just aesthetically, I love the way this place looks, but... You press these... You walk in them. That's it. I don't recommend you do, because, uh... Well, you'll see. If you spray all these markings on the wall, new platforms will come out. They have been sunken vertically, and you know what? That takes talent. I don't know if it's on Shadow Mario's part, or on the cliff itself, but either way, talent. No wonder they always invite him to go driving, even though he's like four years old. So, yeah, we have the same goo that we had uh, back on the airstrip where it's like multicolored, it looks like candy. Uh, don't eat it though. <laughs> uh, the only difference between them is that now you have these balls falling from the cannon with the Monty Mole up there, and um, Swoop and Stews can spawn in it now, which, you know, I'm. Honestly, really confused why Swoop and Stews couldn't spawn at the airstrips. Like, it doesn't make the game that much harder to have them around. But whatever, that's just me nitpicking about how easy this game is sometimes. I'd argue that this is honestly one of the easiest 3D Mario games. Definitely easier than Mario Odyssey, which is probably up there with the harder ones, but that's a complete matter of opinion. Whatever. So. You spray this, got the coin. That is a cheap cheap. I'm not sure why it's called a cheap cheap on the wiki because according to my notes, it's also called a hat a pop. I don't know. It's like I don't know. I don't know why cheap cheap is written there. There's nothing about it that makes it seem even closely related to cheap cheaps in any way. And we already have cheap cheaps in this game anyway. Oh, are you Mario? That guy down there's my teacher. I mean, my grandpa. Heh. <laughs> that cork is farther up ahead. Be careful, though. There's a weird guy perched on top of it. He'll start tossing explosives at you if you get too close. I thought you might need help, so I got you this springboard. You spray it, it'll shrink and be easy to carry. Please use it. That is true. That is a statement of fact, but if we keep it where it was and jump... And we can get up here. It's up to you if you want to ruin this wonderful relationship between the one-up and the flower. But I do, because I'm running low on lives. 
you don't even need that spring because you can just spin jump and hover nozzle across here, but whatever. The only difference between this uh, Monty Mole once you get close to him and the one in Pina Park is that there's goo surrounding it. If you get rid of it uh, and you stay close to him, there's nothing he can do about it because uh, that cannon will only fire if you are a relatively far distance away from him. You also have to be more careful not to fall off an edge here, but he's still an easy boss. This has got to be the weirdest waterfall I have ever seen. Oh, hi, how'd you get here? I'm sure that goo will clean itself. Boss of Tricky Ruins. Mario, thanks for all your help earlier. That was truly spectacular. Would you mind being my new teacher? I mean, uh, never mind. My grandpa's up ahead and he wants to tell you something. Sunoki Bay seems to be disconnected from the rest of Isle Delfino. Uh, like, there's no relation whatsoever. These guys don't seem to suspect Mario of anything, which the inhabitants of other areas certainly have, and... I don't know. It's a little weird, but... This level perfectly demonstrates why I love this level so much. Excellent! Way to go, Master Mario! You have returned our waterfall to normal. Bravo! What's that? The ocean's still dirty? Strange. Looks like my theory was way off. <laughs> That's okay. I think I've got a new lead on the real cause, but this may not seem like much of a reward, but uh, I'm going to reveal you one of Noki Bay's deepest secrets. This bay actually contains the tomb of an ancient Noki king. When you spray water on the wall paintings, a path usually opens. It's almost like magic, and one path leads to a hidden shine spray. Honest, this is all true. Maybe. Well, I choose to believe. This game's audio does not like my TV very much, I can definitely tell that much. This is time, so you're going to want to go through this as quickly as possible, but I love this. This is a very cool way to design a level, is like having timed paths that you have to open, and it's an excellent use of Flood as a mechanic. Let's get up here. I see bloopers up here. Weird enemy choice, but whatever. It fits, it works. Let's open this. Oh my god, I'm probably going to have to mute the game whenever I open these things, aren't I? Because that sounds awful. It might just be because this is a newish TV. Probably like made in 2011 or something, but that's still nine years older than, or younger than Mario Sunshine, so. Whatever. So you run up here. And do this. We have Gooper Blooper for the third time. I... I don't know. This seems like a weird thing to put here. Uh... Because it doesn't really fit at all, but... Whatever. Thanks for instructing me on this boss I've beaten twice before Flood. Really helpful. As always, though... I'm just gonna want to flatten these tentacles. Aim for the first two. Pull until his eyes are pink. There you go. The boss music keeps playing this time, so it's not trying to trick you to think you defeated him. 
And he's surrounded by water this time, too, so you can actually restore Flood if you need. For some reason. If you're that bad at defeating Goopy Goopy. But, again, not that hard. I think this is also the only level in the game that has two types of goo in it, because there's the like, black oily stuff that's surrounding Gooper Blooper, which is considered to be goo, as Shadow Mario did place it all around, uh, all around Isle Delfino, all around, uh, Regal Harbor and Delfino Plaza at some point, so, yeah. So if you weren't somehow convinced that, uh, Nintendo has been pretty lazy about these tentacles, it's very clear here that they are not attached to him at all. That brick just opens up itself. Let's ground pound our way in. There we go. No damage at all. Let's grab our shine. In this cool looking room. As you expected, we're just going right back in. Red coins in a bottle. No thanks. So why am I going to level 2? What possible reason could there be to go back to level 2 if it wasn't a secret level? I just prefer getting this shine in level 2. No particular reason. It is much easier to get in a later level, but... I don't know. Something about level 2. But, there is a secret shine you can get here that is exclusive, which is an exclusive method of getting a shine to Noki, Bla Noki Bay and also Delfino Plaza, but we'll talk about that later. Go through here, you get a lot of coins, which is really good for the 100 coin mission. I want to jump up here. There's a trampoline in here. And as you can see, there's a golden bird. Spray it three times. Come back. And you got a shine sprite. Don't know how you were expected to discover this because it's a tiny bird on a remote part of the level, but whatever. I'll be right back. I'm going to check my totals again just to see how we're doing. Red coins in a bottle. I've got it! Yes, I surely do have it! What have I got? Why, the answer to our polluted ocean problem, of course. And the answer is you. You must go to the ocean floor. Of course, that is impossible for you at the moment. Therefore, I've made an area for you to hone your skills. Wear this and you can stay underwater for much, much longer. Use that flood to move around and get coins. But don't overdo it. If you run low on air, here's what you do. Just grab some regular coins to refill your meter, okay? Now shall we get started? This is so stupid. <laughs> there is interesting trivia related to this level, though, that I will go over as soon as we reach the bottom. The red coins are scattered around, and this is the closest you'll get to an aerial mission in this game. Uh, so, if you're into aerial missions and platformers for some reason, boy, you'll love this. So, I believe there's a way to glitch out the camera on this level to show this, but if not, if I can't manage it within a few seconds, or at least within a minute, at the very most a minute, uh, then I'm just going to uh, 
show it on screen, but if you look in there, there's a door. And through this door, if you use the camera to maneuver around, you can see there is a book behind it. Nobody knows what this book was for. There is text relating to it in the game, but it's unclear if this was actually meant to be used for anything or not. But, I mean, I don't know. I remember being really interested in, like, just the mystery behind this book before, especially considering the only thing they did to hide it was put a door that doesn't really fit the scenery around it. Uh, so yeah. We only have two more red coins to get, though, and you have unlimited hover time, although it's probably best to stop hovering sometimes, just so you can gain momentum again, because it's weird. I don't know, momentum's weird here, but... Okay, we need to do some fancy maneuvers to get that red coin. I don't like it, but let's do it. Oh my gosh! Give me the red coin! No! Ah! Uh, <laughs> I don't like this red coin at all. I like a lot of this. I like a lot of this game. I like a lot of its tricks. All of the maneuvers you need to do. There are cheap cheeps in here, by the way. If you're interested in that. I don't think spraying flood upwards actually makes you go any faster, but whatever. Worth a try. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. That was much easier going from the top. And down below is a shine sprite, right near the book, suspiciously enough. Let's get it. Let's head back in. Ely Mouth's Dentist. It's time to play Dr. Mario. Oh, Mario, you're finally getting out for the ocean, setting out for the ocean's bottom. Grandpa's waiting for you up top. Oh, don't forget to wear this. Can you use this rope as a shortcut to- You can use this rope as a shortcut to reach Grandpa. Thanks. I really love it. I love this rope. I love everything about it. I love wearing this fishbowl as a helmet. Because that's how breathing underwater works. Getting to the top is the same as, uh, in the first level here. Except, you know, easier because all the platforms aren't missing. You don't need to spray any goo and there aren't bombs coming down at you. Goop bombs. Please never say that again, present me. Or past me, or future me, in fact. I honestly hope I censored that, even if it wasn't a swear, just so I can leave y'all in suspense about what it was I was saying. Okay, let's get this one up again. Sorry to keep tearing your relationship apart. We have... You look like you're ready! The gunk is in the ocean is caused by a giant eel! It's moved into our ancestral home, at the seafloor, and it's nursing some nasty cavities there. Let's take a look! The newly uncorked waterfall created a gap in the pollution that you can use as an entrance! Jump right in there! Dive to the bottom of the ocean and clean that eel's teeth! Doing so will ease his pain, and he'll return to whence he, from whence he came. No doubt about it. Now gather your courage and die. He said dive, but I feel like die is better. This place is beautiful. Oh, look at it. Prepare to die. Okay. This level is very stressful. You can see at the bottom there that this thing is both male and female. Uh, you can tell by its eyes because, you know, this is back when nobody really cared that much. 
you know, I mean, I still don't really care that much about the whole inclusivity and gaming thing, but... As you get deeper down, he will start to rise. They will start to rise, you could say. You want to rise faster than them and clean their teeth. This mission is disgusting. Eventually, if you'll start, they will start spinning and pulling anything above them down into their mouth. If you get into their mouth, I believe it's an instant game over, or at the very least it deals damage to you. Uh, but either way, don't get caught in it. Um, focus on cleaning teeth. That's all you need to focus on. And a way you can do this is by uh, going into, f well, not really first person, but over the shoulder view. Uh, because then, I mean, you know... You can focus on not being above their mouth, so you don't need to worry about it when they start spinning. Uh, it is much faster to do it when you're above them. Hmm. You can see a bit of the uh, interior of their mouth, actually, uh, which is already creepy, but in the game's data, yeah, I've been talking about that a lot, uh, there is a fully modeled interior to this model, and it's believed that you would see it before it kills you. That is terrifying. I'm glad that is not in the game. At least it's not in the American version. I don't believe it's in the Japanese version either. Okay, you don't really need to worry too much when they start spinning because Hover Flood can keep you mostly out of the way of it. Uh, just focus on cleaning the teeth which is more difficult than I seem to recall. I'm honestly not sure if that's related to playing in progressive scan because theoretically that has no effect on the gameplay whatsoever. It just makes the game look better, which this does look much better than the standard GameCube version, but... Well, I mean, it is the standard GameCube version, but it's with a thing to convert it to 480p, which obviously makes it look better, but... Uh, Ever since I started playing with that being converted, it's just been weirder. I, I don't know really how to explain it. Because uh, there's no real evidence for it playing differently. It's just felt different. Maybe just because it looks different. You know, you can talk to someone and they like change the way they look. It can like change the way it feels to even speak to them at all. I don't know. Uh, this is taking much longer than I was expecting, because this is not that hard, but... Okay. It's probably because I keep trying my best to stay out of the mouth, even though it's important that you go into the mouth to complete the level. And also, I keep missing coins when I'm going past them. Uh, Mario can move very quickly, so... Take, take advantage of that in this level. can also do over the shoulder for the hover nozzle when he's underwater for some reason, which... I don't know. And it's okay. I'm pretty sure you can do that normally too, it just feels awkward. Although I'm pretty sure that's actually a thing they do in speedruns, because it makes you land faster or something. I don't know. Don't ask me about speedruns. I've done one, and it was only a speedrun in the sense that I was trying to beat the game as quickly as I could. Okay. Uh, future me, speed this up if uh, this takes much longer. Because uh, even I'm getting a little bored of this. I, just one more tooth.
There we go. Luckily, it does give you full health once you defeat it. Now you just have to slowly sink to the bottom. Can't collect that heart of coins, that's like 20. I can imagine this actually being a decent level to do the 100 coins in. It's not one I'll personally use, but, you know, it can't be terrible. I think that's enough for today. So, next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we'll probably be trying to finish up Noki Bay and then heading back into Gelato Beach to finish the 100 coin mission there. That may not be next time. Uh, we'll see. See you guys then. I'm having a lot of fun here with this trampoline. It's not a trampoline, but you know what I mean.